G'day listeners, we are with the Youth League for our Big V podcast here today and we're going to go through the two divisions together, well the two conferences together, offensive rating and defensive rating. Mark, to my right, and we're just going to get stuck straight into it because we have Knox, who are very interesting. They are first on the ladder and yet they have the lowest points per game average. Yeah, I think that was the that was the one which stood out the most for me, Ted. The um, they obviously can't put the ball in the hole um, as much as they'd like to um, this year, but it looks like they're getting the job done defensively mm. um, to be able to hold up first position. Yeah, absolutely. But we'll go the other way around because we've started at the bottom. We'll go back to the top. Danong, who is sitting second comfortably on their ladder, uh, averaging ninety point eight points per game. That's that's not bad. Sitting second in the Terrell Conference under Knox. Well, yeah, you go through their, uh, go through some of their players on their list, Ted, and they've just got so many offensive options that yeah. uh, I think teams are struggling to contain that, and um, which is why they're able to get some get some wins. If you have got that many options, it's usually pretty hard as a coach to slow any of them down. Yeah, absolutely. They play with such good pace, and they're they're quick, they're crafty, they're agile. They can do a lot of things. They got awesome spaces. They can shoot the ball. They can get on the ring really well. Justin Arcy is obviously a dominant player all around the court. With such a big frame and and physicality, he's he's hard to stop in the league. Yeah, that's a um, he's he's clearly. I think he won Player of the Month last for April last last month. So oh, um, yeah, he just right. can't be stopped this season. No, absolutely not. Casey is sitting second with our points per game. They're sitting fifth in the Watson Conference. Oh, but no, they're not. They're Terrell. They are the Terrell Conference. Apologies <laughs> for that. Eighty four point nine. A team who have. You know, a lot of guys who can score the ball. Ethan Bolton is an amazing pick-and-pop guy, but they just can't seem to get stops on the other end. Yeah, no, that was obvious. Um, it's, that's been pretty obvious so far. Ethan Bolton's having a huge season. Um, but, yeah, they just like, they can't figure it out defensively. Um, Coach Best has his work cut out for him in the second half of the year to yeah. try and um, tidy up that defensive um, aspect of their game. Mm. Kilsyth is uh, well, but we've got McKinnon too. Kilsyth is sitting eighth with our points per game average, 82.2. And defensively, they're doing very well, 71 points per game. But being first in the Watson Conference, sitting eighth in points per game. So a team that doesn't score the ball that well, well, higher than a lot of other teams, but they get it done defensively. Yeah, they're one of the best defensive teams in the league. I think they're sitting second when you... Um, yep, second um, in the league. And, and funnily enough, you look at the best defensive teams in the league and both of them are sitting on top of their ladders in their respective con- um, conferences. So, yeah, um, yeah Kilsyth can not as not as much firepower as some of those other teams, but um, if you're defending um, well, you don't need to score the ball as much, which, you know, is why they're getting wins. No, that's true. And then McKinnon, who are sitting sixth in points per game with 83.2 points per game. They are... Quite long across the board, you know, Simos playing the three, you know, he is tall and lengthy. He could probably play some four men in, in most teams. But, again, a team that just can't generate stops, 88 point, points per game. Yeah, it's in a way, it's a little bit like their senior men's team. They they play a really fast fast brand. They've got a number of different scorers on the floor. Um, but they just need to start to address some defensive um Defensive issues, and with their extra length, Ted, you sh- think they shouldn't have too much of a problem being able to junk it up a little bit and get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. Now, we'll touch on defensively, because as you said, Mark, the first two teams on the top of the ladder, Knox and Kilsyth, are, are one and two in, in defensive rating, 69 for, for Knox and, and 71 for Kilsyth. But, you know, you sort of look at the rest of these teams as you go through the list, Eltham a third. And they're sitting fourth in their conference. Ringwood are sitting comfortably now in second, and they're they're sitting fourth in defensive stops or defensive points per game. But you know, you look towards you know the bottom of the ladder, and Blackburn obviously averaging or giving up eighty eight points per game. It's it's a struggle for them, isn't it? Yeah, and it probably reflects on how they're going this season. They the games they have won, they've been high scoring affairs generally speaking, um, and you know. If they're not going to get stops, they're not going to stay within games. And you can see the bottom of this list. You got Ballarat, McKinnon, and Blackburn um, holding up the list, and they just they they're giving up over eighty five points a game. Um, it's just makes it hard to get those wins, Ted. Yeah, absolutely, definitely 
in that area of, of playing in that grading process in, in 2024. So, you know, whether they can make some moves by uh, Ballarat, the, the reigning champs, a, a team that, you know, are probably or possibly going to have some pieces come back towards the second half of the year. So they might be able to, to work their way up the ladder and get some stops. But Yeah, well, a good a good win on the weekend against, um, against Knox mm. will sort of do the world of good. And they actually played some tough defense. I think limiting Knox to about 50 points. Um, for the game, so he was. hopefully they can build on that and uh, turn their, the back end of their season around. Absolutely, that'll be all for us, guys. We'll catch you soon.